What does Quran say about homosexuality? Thank you for the question because there's, uh, it, it's true, there's a lot of comments and backlashes uh, on social media, especially with what's happening now in Turkey, in North Africa, uh, condemning homosexuality by law. But we have to say that the Quran never speaks about homosexuality. You will not find homosexuality quoted like that in the Quran, never. Nobody can find it. It's not there. So they tell us about Sodom and Gomorrah, the Qawm Lot, the Prophet Lot, uh, peace be upon him. Uh, um, those people were raping men and women. So it has nothing to do with same-sex love. And that is not quoted in the Quran. And we have in the tradition of the Prophet, peace be upon him, many ahadith traditions telling us about the Prophet Muhammad welcoming in his home Mukhannathun Mutarajjilat. Uh, so this is like a feminine man, transgender, we don't know, but it's what we call nowadays LGBT people. He was protecting them according to the tradition. Uh, it's in every hadith book. So this is very clear that the Prophet never condemned anyone. He defended them, peace be upon him, against people who wanted to attack them because they were what we call nowadays queer. So they had different terminology. But people like us existed at the time of the Prophet and they were protected by the Prophet. And they had a special place in his home for them to include them, to give them work, to protect them. So if we want to be good Muslims, like some people are pretending to be good Muslims with all that hate against LGBT plus people, we should protect minorities, religious minorities and uh, uh, gender minorities. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>